Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen the usage of optional variable. For example, we created string like first name, last name and we created a optional variable middle name with the question mark sign and when you print a optional variable depending upon the optional variable has a value or not it will get print differently for example right now it is printing nil and if i assign middle name here then it will print optional b you can later once again assign nil value to a optional variable one of the question that you can ask is what if i use a constant whether the constant also works in the same manner so let me change this middle name from where to let and you will observe that it works perfectly fine up to here but in the line number 10 it says that immutable value middle name may be initialized only once that basically means since middle name is a constant you can initialize it only once and if you observe if i assign nil value to middle name later i cannot assign any other value because once again it is a constant and it can be initialized only once so if you declare a optional constant assign a value to it don't assign a nil value because later you can't change it so the concept of constants works in the same manner even for a optional constant if you observe middle name is being printed as optional v not just as v what does this mean so as far as processing optionals is concerned we need a little bit more insight so let's take the example of a middle name which is a optional string constant here and when you say that you declare an optional you are basically taking that particular data and wrapping it and now when you print that particular optional you never know whether that particular optional is holding a value or whether it is initialized to nil so to deal with these optional what you have to basically do is you have to unwrap it and then use it and one way of using it is using a exclamation mark which is called as forced unwrapping but the problem with the forced unwrapping is if the data is nil then this will give a runtime exception that is where conditional forced unwrapping can be used that is checking whether a uh, optional is holding a nil value and if it is not holding nil value then only do a forced unwrapping we will see both of this in a live coding session now so now i can print the middle name using a forced unwrapping operator that is exclamation mark now you can see that it is printing v and it is not printing as optional v as it was printing earlier let's see what happens if middle name is holding a nil value so let me make middle name as variable i will assign nil value to it then this particular line of code will give a runtime exception because this contains nil you should not force unwrap a optional always because if it contains nil it will be a runtime exception that is where conditional unwrapping should be done what do i mean by conditional unwrapping wrapping is right now i will show you a very crude way of doing it so it can be done as if middle name is not equal to nil then print probably first name followed by middle name and then last name else i have not yet covered the conditional statements but i think this should be self-explanatory and anyhow i will be going through the conditional statements in a much more detailed manner later so as you can observe that since the middle name is nil it is going into a else section and printing anil deshpande let me comment line number nine now it will print it as anil optional v and since i am sure that it is not nil i can force unwrap it but there is even a better way of doing it if let optional value and then i will assign middle name to it basically what this does is it unwraps middle name which is a optional type only if it is not equal to nil and then assigns it to the constant optional value then instead of using middle name i can just use optional value and else just first name and last name so let me remove this and if i once again make this enabled that is middle name equals to nil then you will observe that it will go to the else section and what we just did is called as optional binding and optional binding still uses 
the concept of unwrapping optional but it is much more elegant and preferred solution of processing a optional data type in swift with this i complete the discussion of optionals in the next video we will get started with the new concept of swift programming that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye